Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning, girls. Um, thank you guys for having me. My name's Ray. I'm actually with New Line. Um, this was supposed to happen three weeks ago, so pretend like we're three weeks back and it's my turn. Uh, thank you guys for um, having me, though. And I don't know, coming off on your day off, it is spring break, so you know, we're I don't working. know. Oh, everyone's working? Yeah. So I don't feel as bad. I'll let you guys yeah. are all coming in, I'll, you know, just because you guys wanted to see me. It's and like stuff. a special treat, break up the day. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> there you go, break up the day. Yeah. Um, but, uh, at, Bottom line, thank you guys. Um, so what I want to do is kind of go over, how many of you guys know who New Line is? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Just because we've just been looking around. So just been looking, yeah. okay. We went to, cool. We went and saw one of the, uh, some other school, so. Oh, nice, yes. okay. That's a good, that's a Where'd good Where'd you thing. go? Uh, Riverview, um, Johnson, Johnstown. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, very good. They've got, a, they've got a handful out there, so. Cool. Cool. But before that, did you know who we were at all? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. not, not, many, not many folks do. I usually get blank stares and say, like, nope, never heard of you guys. Uh, which is why I kind of want to spend five minutes real quick just to go over an 80-point PowerPoint on who we are. It's not actually that long. It's like five slides. But um, definitely want to make sure you guys kind of know the background of New Line and kind of why large districts like ADPS or Pooters uh, select us and, and how we support you guys. Because uh, the truth of it is, and, and I always say this, and I don't know if JC or heard me say this, but for these panels, there's like 30 or 40 different brands, right? You guys probably know what? doing your research or so, right? Yeah, what? But there's just a ton of options, right? And to be honest with you, a panel may have a little something, this one may have a little something, but a panel's a panel at the end of the day, right? The truth of it is what really, I believe, working for New Line that separates us from everybody else and why we're successful in the space like we are is because of our post support. Okay, so we're gonna go over all that stuff. But I think it's pretty uh, important uh, for me to kind of give that background and why we do all this. Sound good? Okay, cool. And I guess pizza's on its way, right? I don't even know when they're here. Um, all right. In doing a demo of this, I actually say, if you guys actually stop listening to me after this slide, totally cool. As long as you remember going out of this going, hey, why was New Line different from everybody else? Oh, these three things. And if that's all you got out of this whole presentation, perfect, you know? Um, because this is pretty much our most important piece, as far as the, the, the why in regards to um, hardware. Uh, so one, we really believe we're, our panel is the easiest panel to use on the planet. Okay, uh, what we mean by that is that when we kind of go over the user interface of our panel, you're going to see how simple it is and not overwhelming for a teacher just to go up to the panel and kind of figure things out on their own, right? Whiteboard's a whiteboard, browser's a browser, those type of things. They will go ahead and just press it and kind of mess around with it. So we really believe that part, um, it's really simple uh, and not too overwhelming for the teachers to use, which is a benefit because when you make an investment like this, you want them to use it, right? Whether they're a super user or at least a user, um, you don't want to invest in this and not have and just have it sit in the corner, right? So um, the other piece is non-proprietary. What we mean by that is that we don't lock anything out of our panel. You can connect any hardware, any software, and it'll work just the same uh, on our panel as it would on a computer or anything else. Um, you can see there, there Jay connected an Elmo dot cam to it. If you guys have current AV systems in the classrooms that you guys want to utilize, you can do those. So we don't lock anything out. Um, you can connect anything with our panel and it'll uh, be good to go. Okay. <clears throat> this we actually added. Um, I don't know if uh, you guys had any situations with distance learning, but as we were kind of going through the last couple of years, we actually found how our panel um, can adjust not only to the times, but really be beneficial for the distance learning piece. So a lot of our trainers can focus on that if you have, you know, some teachers that may do distance learning in the future or whatnot, okay? Uh, so these three things are kind of our why and kind of like what separates New Line from everybody else. Uh, so these are more the, the big piece of highlights. So again, if you stop listening, I don't encourage you to, but if you did, it's okay as long as you remember these. <clears throat> is this okay. just a PowerPoint you're running right now? It is, yeah. yeah. And you can see it's a, it's on it's just from my computer. Um, here's the other piece. So we actually offer free professional development. 
whether that's virtual or on-site. And not only is it free, but it's also unlimited. Kind of circles back to the very first bullet point of why New Line. The fact that we believe our panel is easy to use, we offer this, right? Because we really believe once we train you guys once or twice, the teachers are already using these um, in their classrooms. So we can either do on-site, um, so you know, if you guys get a school and all the teachers come in, we do school to school, whatever. Uh, that's what we do for Clark County. We kind of bounce around from school to school and train uh, their entire staff. We can also do a train the trainer program where if you guys have um, tech folks that are more of the you know, subject matter experts on panels, we can train them. Again, all, all whatever you guys need, um, it's up to you. And we also, all, uh, also uh, do virtual, okay? Now with the virtual stuff, we also record it, okay? So if the teachers can't make it, they can rewatch it um, as well, okay? So this is free and unlimited. We actually have a fantastic trainer that supports Colorado. His name is G. Anderson. He's out of Tennessee. Jay, uh, I think, been on a few trainings with him. The other piece that I like to talk about our training is they don't just talk, our trainers don't just train on the panel. They don't go like, oh, this button does this, this does this. They actually ask how your teachers are teaching. Like, hey, do you guys use computer windows? Do you use Chromebooks? Do you, you know, are you using G Drive? Those kind of things. And they actually train how to incorporate the panel within that kind of environment. Okay, so they actually dive deep. All of our trainers are Google certified as well as Microsoft certified. So they actually go through all these things to make sure that they're training on the, the most current stuff. Are your trainers um, educators or they have experience? Former training, educators. Training educators. Okay. They are all former educators. Great. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of our sweet spot thing is taking a teacher from the classroom who's actually you know been there and done that type deal and kind of figure those things out. So yeah, all of our trainers are former teachers. Cool. Mm -hmm. Great question. Any questions on the free and unlimited training piece? What do you mean by development? Uh, in what sense? Pro you mean professional development? Oh, is that what that means? For yes, people? professional I you development. Development is in like developing software. No, okay. no. Now I will come to, come to something for that in regards to like feedback and stuff like that. But no, when we say professional development, it's more training. Okay. You know, diving in with the teachers and so on. Okay. Any other questions? Cool. By the way, I, I just want to be cautious of time. Are, what time are we good till 12 or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or till the pizza comes? Mm -hmm. Pizza <laughs> runs out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this is the other piece of our post support uh, that I like to kind of highlight. We have an advanced replacement warranty, okay? Um, it's five years. What we mean by advanced replacement is that what happens is if you guys experience a problem with one of our panels, you can call our tech support team. They're actually based in Allen, Texas. You actually will get a live person um, and they're great to troubleshoot over the phone. However, if they cannot solve the issue and it's a hardware issue, what we will do is actually send you out a new panel, put the new one up, old one in the box, and we cover all that shipping, okay? Um, Jay is also a great support in that aspect um, in regards to you know making sure he can run point on those things, but we really have about a 48 hour SLA time um, in getting you guys a replacement unit. Okay, so they move pretty quickly. Do you wanna speak on any of that? Maybe add a day here, it seems to be hard to get them to deliver here. Okay, <laughs> okay, 72 hours SLA <laughs> here since, uh, yeah. No, it is, uh, they've done uh, phenomenal work. The great thing is there hasn't been a lot of of uh, issues to deal with to right. start with. That, we have a less that's than more than 1% percent failure rate. Yeah. So that's I mean, what's it's important like to me is not even having to deal with yeah, that sure. and exercise <laughs> that. Right. But it is five years, um, you know, and we can always increase it if you guys want. As we well. are looking at seven years. Okay, yeah. so we can definitely do that. Um, anything that you see here from software, from our new line broadcast to our new line display management to new line cast, um, all that is free. Okay, we actually don't charge for any of the softwares that you will see um, over here, as well as we include shipping and delivery. So again, we try to make things as easy as possible. Once you purchase our panel, you kind of have uh, you know, that um, peace of mind, right? That you're not being charged for anything else. Uh, we kind of make fun because it's like the TurboTax commercial, you know, free, free, free. <laughs> I feel so. Clean them out. 
tilt wall mount. A, wa a wall mount is free to you. Yeah. So we can add that to the list. Free. Uh, yeah, that's free as well. So, um, yeah. So all that stuff, again, um, and those two things, right? Training, warranty, tech support, um, answering your calls, getting these things shipped out to you. That's the piece that really separates New Line from everybody else, honestly. Uh, in the sense of when districts purchase from us, we really take care of them. We don't just sell you a box and move on. There is a ton of support behind you guys. Okay. Now, this is another cool thing uh, that a lot of folks don't know. So out of the 30 or 40 different brands that's out there, there's actually four panel manufacturers in the country, or in the world. So four panel, there's actually only four companies that make panels. So you have companies that make, you know, each other's different panels and things. We are actually owned by one of those factories. So we actually are one of the factories. That's a big thing for New Line. It's the reason why during this whole craziness of the last, you know, two quarters, including this one, we have inventory. We have over 24,000 panels in stock right now. And that, that's not because we haven't sold any, it's because we own the factory. So what that means for us, we go to the front of the line whenever we need product, okay? So we have the ability to deliver. Um, the other piece that's important is for a development side. A lot of the things that you'll see kind of we'll go over has been feedback from you folks. We literally can go to the R&D floor and make changes to our panels that quickly. We have a product manager uh, that actually two of them now that sit in Texas and they get all this feedback and make our product better. This is all New Line does. All New Line does is panels. We don't make fridges. We don't make microwaves. We don't do any of that. All we do is focus on interactive panels as well as some non-touch panels as well. Okay. Uh, so it means it's always in stock. We have warehouses. The warehouse that we use for here in Colorado is our actually um, main warehouse in Richardson, Texas. Okay. So most of that stuff ships over there. Okay. Any questions on how we own the panel or we own the factory? No. It's actually a really cool piece for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So none of you guys knew who New Line was, but we are actually a very large company. Uh, globally, we own 24% market share. What that means is that one out of every four panels sold in the world is actually a New Line panel. Um, which is a cool thing, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you may not have known of us until you're just kind of shopping here, but we are actually a very large company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is where we are all just spread out through, and that's it. Okay, cool. Any questions before we move on? Any questions about the new line thing, about who we are, post support, any of that stuff? Man, I must have done a good job where you guys are still kind of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. So we'll dive into the panel a little bit here. What was that? Um, we'll dive into the panel. This is for you guys. Is there anything specific that you guys want to see or have seen, right? I know this is probably the third presentation or fourth presentation you guys might have seen uh, with panels. Is there anything that you like or dislike? Anything that we can, that just to give me an idea what to dive into with you guys. We are Google, so like okay. Any, Google any integration, integration piece yeah. with Google, awesome. Um, okay. Profile stuff too, as far as different user profiles, if that's a thing that you have. That's one. Okay. That was kind of a sticking point a little bit. Um, it's an application from the user's computer that should be able to directly sure, connect yeah. to the uh, sure. to the to the panel itself. Okay, that's good. Wireless projection. Okay, awesome. So it's like screen sharing and stuff like that. Okay, cool. And management too is. A Yes. Of interest as well. Yes. All music to my ears here. Um, okay, so <clears throat> in regards to profiles, I'll address that one later because what I'm going to do is uh, I will introduce you guys to our newest panel that's actually not out yet, but it will be shipping in, um, I'd say, late April, early May timeframe but that panel has user profiles attached to it. This one does not. <laughs> but it does have a lot of similar uh, features uh, that our Q-Series will. Okay, so first things first, um, like I said, you can kind of see it's not too overwhelming to a teacher. You just have these little six uh, widgets and they're all customizable. If you actually hold them down, 
Okay, oh, this one has the, you can actually uh, customize these things and rename them. So what does built-in PC mean? Um, so on the back of this thing, if you guys ever, if you guys want to see afterwards, right here is a slide-in slot for an actual uh, OPS, which is an onboard computer. Okay, so you can actually make this a full Windows device. Did we add one or was it already in there? No, there's not one on here. Yeah. So think of this Android piece as a full as a large tablet, mm -hmm. right? Then when you connect the computer or you connect your onboard PC here, um, it's just a big laptop. Right. Okay. So, um, so you saw there. Once you you can connect that, hold this down, and you can kind of customize it. You can even rename it so a teacher can, you know, put their favorite stuff on there. So they really don't have to, you know, kind of do by the default, but if they have like a document camera connected to it and they always use that, they can customize it and kind of do their thing there. Um, so what I want to dive into first is, let's do this. We will dive into screen sharing, okay? So you dive in screen share so the difference of our screen sharing than everybody else, it's cloud-based, okay? So what that means is that a um, someone like a guest speaker or somebody can connect to the panel without being on your guys' network, okay? So the device and the panel do not need to be on the same network in order for you to screen share up to the panel. And it's very simple. So all you got to do is kind of uh, type that in. You can do it via the web or even an app. Um, I use an app, I have the app obviously, so what I can do is, I, I'm just on my LTE here, you, and you guys are on, this is on your guys' network, but I can still connect to it, okay? Um, now another cool thing about our screen sharing is you can have up to four people connected to it at once. So what I've seen a lot of teachers do that they love is they can actually put it in grid view and they'll have two students share their work and do a little compare and contrast. Okay, because you can also annotate over anything there. Now, you saw that I'm connected there, there it, and Jay is connected as well. Now, Jay and I cannot present because we have what's called a moderator mode. What a moderator mode is, it gives the teacher control of what gets splashed onto the screen. How many of you guys are familiar with Apple TV and Chromecast and all that stuff? If they know the pin, all they got to do is jump on it, right? And they can take over the screen. So who knows what can happen during that time, right? So we put this moderator mode in place. Now on here, I can't present, I can't do anything unless I'm invited. So if me as the teacher, I can invite Ray, invite to present. Now I'm waiting on him. And if you notice, a little button came up, okay? So what I can do is I can start to broadcast. I always cross my fingers during these kind of things, you know? So. Usually it works, but depending on network, we always, well, there's some ports that need to be open, um, that need to be open when you do new like, and we help you with that, with the white paper piece. Let's see, Jay, you want to try? You got to give me the opening. Yeah, I will. Let me, it uh, says you're presenting on my. Yeah, it does. I think uh, we have to open one of the ports on this one, because it's, unless, is this totally open? You know? open. The yeah, the network we were put on, uh, like firewalls, stuff like that, because there are certain ports that need to be open for the new line cast to work. So everything everything outbound is open. So if it requests something like the way it's doing, it should work. It should work. It okay. should. There, are you using a cellular network there, or are you on our? Network? I'm using a cell network. Yeah. yeah, then you're probably not gonna work. Okay, because it's well, it's not great right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was trying to, I should have, I should have tested it out. I should have tested it out beforehand. Um, let, but Tony, yeah. let Tony, let Tony do it. I have good signal. You have good signal? Okay. Let me, uh, <clears throat> I don't have the app. Tony's got cricket though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh. Okay, so we'll try it one more time. Yeah, so you don't need. Yeah, so you I did. Try. You I don't try? have an app. You don't need. You it. could try this URL. Just go in like your browser, and you can type in the URL and try it out. <coughs> so how does that work? If you don't have the app in the URL, you just put your name in, and it says your name up there, and it, it will connect. Or 
Yeah, well, you put in, whether you do the URL or you or do the app, you have to put in your name. Okay, um, so it's like the honor system. It's not like, okay. Yeah. It, and it doesn't take the device's name. It just uses the name that you get. Correct, okay. correct. And then if you, uh, like if you guys use Chromebooks, right, um, there's a also extension for it, a Chrome extension. So you can just click on that and <coughs> share it this way. Simple screen sharing or should I get the app? Simple screen sharing. Yeah. And I'm drilling J at Bloom, huh? Still. Let me try you. Let's see. I'm not at the help support link. Did I give you the button? <laughs> That's where it went to me. Yeah. <laughs> There's no entry for session ID here if I'm just on the website. That I can see. Let's see. Let's change it to this whole yeah. Is it presenting? Oh, hey. Hey, there's yeah, Jay. Yeah. All right. So that that's how you can screen share. And what's cool too is a teacher can just click on this right here and it'll actually freeze it and now I can annotate over it. Okay, so the teacher can go ahead and annotate over it whether they're like, hello. Yeah. It already dropped me. Did it? Yeah. Let me change this to finger. So now I can I can draw there, um, and now when I exit out of it, it actually takes a picture of it and saves it to the panel. Okay, so it oh I know right so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just took that yesterday. Okay. Awesome. Good thing I didn't share it. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how that's how easy it, or that's how easy it should be to screen share. Um, this is actually a big feature uh, for us now. It's also asked, can I play a YouTube video? Uh, you know, using screen sharing uh, and so on. The answer is actually yes, you can. But the expectations always set. You got to remember, especially if it's using uh, a cloud connection, you're going up, down, through an AP, all the way to the panel. So there will be some lag. Now they have made some improvements where the lag is very minimal depending on your um, how your wireless infrastructure is, right, and your bandwidth, okay? Is that the only way that you do the wireless uh, projection, or is there a... No, so the, the cool thing or is to here... Is, is, is there a non-cloud option, I guess is what I'm There asking. is, yes, so great, great thing there. Um, let me, uh, Jay's going to off over here. Sorry, Jay, I had to kick you off. <laughs> Um, so in settings, if you actually go here to networking connections, if you guys use uh, iPhone or iPad or whatever, you can use AirPlay if the device and the panel are in the same network. Right. So you can use it that way. Um, if you if you can, um, you can also connect, uh, turn off cloud connections and connect directly to it. Okay. Like Wi-Fi direct. So Correct. That would still have a wireless connection. Correct. Right here. So um, just depends. Right. Right. It, it's up to you guys. But all you would do is turn this off. Gotcha. And then you would go from a six-digit pin to a ten-digit pin. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then again, this is your moderator mode. Uh, but yeah, that's how simple it is. You, again, you can have up to four people uh, connected to screen sharing at once. Okay. Any questions on that? Very cool. All right, chugging right along here. Uh, next thing we'll cover is whiteboard, okay? So our whiteboard, standard whiteboard, kind of probably you guys have all seen it. Now a cool thing is, is that this, our panel, you can actually get to the same place five or six different ways. A teacher can sign into their Google Drive right here through this QR code and have all their access uh, to their G Drive from the whiteboard, okay? That's one way to do it. I'll show you a couple other ways uh, as well. So our whiteboard, very simple. If you actually hold down, you can actually see the different colors, patterns. So you can actually for grid, math teacher, math teachers love the grid. A um, Couple of cool things that I like to show because this stuff is all boring stuff. It's just annotation tools and so on. But you can actually search the image, uh, search the web for like images. So if a teacher is doing something on turtles, I already brought that up. So you can drag and drop a turtle, you know, so you can 
drag and drop a turtle into a whiteboard, annotate, um, and then you can also search the web, okay? So if you wanted to search uh, anything on the web and drag, uh, you know, drag and drop it, you can. Put the video of the I like turtles meme on there. <laughs> remember, that one? remember that one? The I like, no, what's that? I only oh. see turtles because that was the last teacher did. <laughs> so. It was a little kid getting interviewed by a local news station. Oh, he was dressed yeah. up for Halloween. He had like a white paint on his face yeah. and black uh -huh. eyes. And he froze and he was like, I like turtles. <laughs> That's all I can say. Actually, let's see if we can find it. Is that, it a, YouTube? Like Is that a YouTube yeah. video? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, you just search I like turtles. It'll be the first there. thing that comes up. Yeah. I like turtles. Let's see. Let's hope it's going I know, right? There we go. What's that not here? Meme or kid? Which one? <laughs> probably 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 yeah. Either one will work. Do that one. Do sure the top one. one. Do the top one. All right. Let's see. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> this I actually, I have seen yeah. this. <laughs> So you can even drag and drop, obviously, YouTube on. Jonathan, you're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what you thought of. And that's it, right? Yeah. That's awesome. That's how my brain works. <laughs> so um, now I'm all thrown off, so uh, turtles. Um, so you can search images, search the web, YouTube videos, you can just plug and play them right into the whiteboard. Um, a lot of other cool things too I like is uh, show the rulers, right? So there's different rulers on here. Are you can just add a question, curiosity, the rulers and stuff, are they like uh, interactive in the case you can like draw straight edge lines with them and yes. things like that? Yes, yeah, yeah. You I mean just, like I draw a circle. I'm trying to put my math teacher brain on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. asking those All questions, so. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing too that's cool of this is split mode. Um, I actually have one of these panels in my son's kindergarten class. And uh, my son's teacher, she does the split mode. She actually does three, because you can actually split it three ways. And the kids will do sight words on here. So they'll actually come up to the panel and do their sight words and write. And, and they're only like, you know, five, six years old. So it's really cool though to see the kids kind of interacting with it. So that's how she kind of utilizes it. So split mode is actually something that I like to show because I've seen it used in action. How many different touches does this, the panel recognize? 20 points. Yeah, 20 points of touch, which is, I think, usually standard. Um, so again, that's, uh, that's kind of the overall piece of the um, whiteboard. I, I don't want to bore you guys too much on it, but you can also um, drag these in and you can dump them into your G drive. Okay, so a teacher can take these lesson plans and dump them in. Uh, either that way or I'll show you another way, okay? Um, any questions on the whiteboard or anything that you guys want to see on the whiteboard that you may have seen uh, on other panels? Both tips are a different color if you set them up that way or your pen, your pen. Yes, you that, oh, way. thanks, Jay. Yeah, um, so our board has what's called object recognition. Let me see, yeah, let's turn it on. So if you do write with fine pen only, okay, it kind of gives you an infinite canvas. Okay, and you can move things, you can do, you can uh, have kind of infinite canvas. Teachers like that piece because they can just keep dragging and you know they'll have new space to write on. If you actually change to this piece right here, okay, to write with the, you can actually it'll actually recognize the thickness of the tip you're using. So um, I think I have a program I'll show you. So It'll recognize this, but if I go this way, it'll recognize my finger. Yeah, see that? And it erases so, your palm. Yeah, and then palm is the erase. See, I taught you well. Actually, I even forgot all that stuff. But object recognition is a cool part um, of our panel uh, for uh, teachers to utilize if they start using a stylus. Now, uh, while I'm on the topic of the stylus, there's actually no technology in this. No. Um, you can use a chopstick. If we had Chinese food, we could use a chopstick and be fine. You know, actually our trainer uses chopsticks uh, just because he keeps them all in his bag. Um, but yeah, no technology in these. If you guys lose them or uh, thing, you can still utilize a panel and annotate. Right? Um, Any questions? 
on the, and maybe you'll get that more soon, but on the Google Drive login piece there, um, yeah. they connect that up so they can get to their drive. And obviously, I assume they can pull things out of their drive, put things in the drive. Absolutely. Um, so just for, right straight from here, you'll, you'll have file. And your drive will pop up in there. Mm -hmm. um, then how does that, they just sign out after they're done? Is that like unfettered access to their drive Great. if the kid rolls up on it? Great question. Great question. They, yes, they do have to sign out. Now, here, here's, a, here's a, the thing. So if you sign in to your Google Drive via the whiteboard or the browser, right? If you just went to Google, signed in, got your G Drive that way. If you turn the panel off, they'll automatically sign you out. Okay, now we'll jump over to this. So this is file viewer. This will give you also the ability to get into your G drive by adding your cloud account. Now, if you sign in this way, this will keep you signed in. Gotcha. <coughs> but this is kind of a hub. This is a little bit easier. So if a teacher, this is like her, his or her only panel, right? They're the only ones using this. A lot of teachers will sign in this way because it will automatically have access to all their stuff. Right. And they're able to drag and drop stuff into it and send it out all through File Commander. Gotcha. Okay. But yes, great question. So then does the uh, panel have a way of locking it? Like you, pin to get, you, you can. The panel on? Yeah. You gotcha. can. Right. Now, if you forget that pin, yeah. you got to do <laughs> a whole reset. factory yeah. reset. <laughs> and then you're just, okay. you know, that's a fun tech support call. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I got this lock screen on here. <laughs> Uh, and we forgot the pin, but yes, okay. you can definitely do that. Cool. Okay. Um, so again, it really just depends. Now we'll go over the new panel in a little bit, um, but that will have user profiles, five different user profiles. So that one you can actually jump from thing to thing and only have access to your own uh, content. Okay. Any questions? Very good. Very good stuff. Okay. Um, Let's see, okay, so we went through File Viewer, went through that browser, you guys already know what a browser is, at least we hope. Um, gadgets, gadgets is kind of like all your apps, okay? Uh, a couple of things that I like to point out is we do have our own curated app store, okay? We've actually um, went through all these apps and make sure that they worked with our panel. Now, if you guys do have some apps that you're like, hey, will this work, blah, 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 you send that in to our tech support team and they will test it out and they will add it to our app store if it works and is free. Okay. So you can kind of see already what apps we went through. Uh, it's funny because this all came about because of feedback from you folks, from teachers, from tech folks saying, you know, hey, we want this app, we want this app and be able to do that. Now, when we go, into, when we go over the display management piece, you guys can actually also control that factor, what apps get put on the panel as well, okay? So uh, a lot of, like I said, it's weird because it's a lot of different ways to do the same thing. Right. So, but yeah, so this is our uh, app store, okay? So that was a, that's a nice little ad. Um, and then some of those resources, how do they tie into the free Octopus and IdeaMac softwares that are included as well, free, free. Yeah, free, free. So, um, Octopus and IdeaMax are, so Octopus is a, our um, classroom with lesson creation software, okay? That's actually a software that lives on the teacher's computer. That is also free. It's up to you guys if you wanna take advantage of that. IdeaMax is also our, uh, another whiteboard that lives on your computer. We also include that for free. So again, it depends if you guys wanna use it, yes or no type deal, right? Is that okay. like uh, the octopus one? Is that kind of like um, uh, it's like an Active Inspire like, yes, or yeah, Smart Inspire, Notebook, one right? Like lesson a, creation uh, stuff like that. Sort of system yep. like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, we don't have that many teachers using, but we do have ones. So if you like, have some super user uh -huh. teachers that are real technology savvy, um, that itself will require its own training, right. and we will give them that that training. Even our new line display management. Um, requires a good bit of training for the tech folks, how to manage, how to create hierarchies and so on, sure. what they can actually do. That's another training, right? So when it come, circles back to the free and unlimited training piece, all those things are important, right? If a teacher wants to learn Octopus, if you guys want to learn new nine display management, those are all included, but yes. Um, so those things, it is a lesson creation software, um, but it is pretty, uh, if you can get a hang of it, it's pretty cool, but it's included. 
Um, and then all the apps. Thanks, Jay, for being there. Any questions? Nope. Uh, okay, so I did want to show you guys this. Um, now, I get a kick out of this one because teachers get a kick out of it for some strange reason. It's really weird. Whenever I do uh, kind of, you know, I'm not a trainer, but if I show these to teachers, they just have like, you know, they just go crazy about it. Well, these are uh, cool, cool toys. It is cool toys. Are. It really is. But I didn't realize like, man, when I'd have 30 teachers and I'd show them this thing. Um, oh, no. Oh, I'll show them here. Not Zoom. It is this. Our spotlight feature oh they're like oh my god that is life-changing you know uh, especially for teachers who code right so you can you can do that um, teachers even get a kick out of this one so this is a curtain if I just taught that ah look at that I got a surprise quiz so yeah total right and I mean I didn't even know this was a thing they were like, you guys got dice and you know, and they make it roll. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, apparently we do. <laughs> this was created again by feedback. So we actually um, have all this stuff, okay, called Classroom Tools. And I um, guess there's a timer in there too, right? Yep. Yes, yep. <laughs> timer, traffic light, you know, all those fun things. Yep. Um, but they go bonkers yep. over it. it it's, it's amazing to me. Uh, it's so cool though. It's so cool that uh, we added this. Now, a cool thing about the uh, classroom tools, it lives uh, in front of the glass. So which means anything that's going on, you can actually still utilize this. So let's say they were connected to their computer, right? Um, I think I have, what am I connected to here? The light icons are always what's connected. And then you yes. get a preview. Yeah. Um, so if I actually went to my computer, this is still around for me to do all the spotlight, you know, and to do the curtain, right, the, that kind of thing, you know. So now I can open up to my computer, okay. So um, those things are still available even when it's on the computer aspect, okay. Uh, like I said, coding teachers love this because they can focus on one particular thing, okay. Um, but yeah, anyways. What does the traffic light do? It's a traffic light. There you go. <laughs> I guess the kids need to stop here, you know, and go. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Yeah, that's my thing. Well, too. If they're being rowdy, know. it goes to yellow. Yeah. You guys, are yeah, close. Right. hey guys, yellow light. Yeah, shut down here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I actually, I, I haven't seen that one in action, but it's there. So you know, um, but yeah, so that's another cool thing that we have um, on our panel from that. Okay. Um, secret swipe up from the bottom. Does secret it swipe up. Yeah. So Jay touched on this real quick. I did want to um, show you guys this. So yeah, these are all previews. If anything's connected, it does turn white. So like if a teacher wants to know, oh, what do I have in my HDMI 2? I have my document camera. Um, and then it'll bring up the uh, actual screen. Okay. So there you go. So now if they want to go to it, they just click on it one more time. Okay. Um, swipe up menu. So this is uh, the secret menu, kind of like it in an out burger, uh, that if you should be able to, see, yeah, I can't even do it. You really got to be peaceful about it. <laughs> it's not as peaceful place. There, there it is. <laughs> um, you can actually get rid of these toolbars, the left and the right. You get volume, brightness, you can control that. Basically take two fingers from the bottom, swipe up. It is kind of a secret menu. You can do all that stuff though, right here from the remote, okay? Um, volume is also right here as well. You'll notice um, we do have an HDMI and USB touch. So uh, you have one, two, three of them, okay? So you can actually connect computers. Now, if you want to connect your computer and you want to have touch capability, you must connect the USB touch. Okay, so what that means is whatever I'm doing on my computer, it's actually or on the panel is actually happening on my computer. Okay. No function for wireless on that. Um, there is there is going to wireless touchback um, on screencasts, but it's not fully like um, advertised yet. Okay, it will, but that is one of the features. One of the features that we will have uh, with our screen sharing is wireless touchback. Now you can do touchback with Miracast. Mm -hmm. If you had like an OPS connected to this 
and another Windows computer, you can mirror cast that way and have touch back. But yeah, unfortunately right now, that's the only gotcha. piece. Great question. Okay. Um, what else, Jay, am I forgetting? Push and hold the clock. Oh, that's timers and stuff, yeah. Um, another secret thing, if you actually push that, you get timers. <laughs> now again, these are things that are in that uh, stopwatch, right? right? Um, those kind of things. The classroom tools has some of these already included on them. Um, you can change. You can actually change the theme on this one to a little bit more colorful. Now on the new Q series, we actually have a ton of different themes. Um, so you can do things like that. It also has, you mentioned uh, memory that this one was stayed on all the time. You can actually uh, customize this to turn on and off at specific times. However, you can also do that on our display management software. Okay, so I'm sure you guys as the tech folks will be managing these. That will probably be the better way than to customize um, all those. So the question about the reason that we're concerned about it staying on all the time is because of just lifespan, right? Yeah, so these are rated 50,000 hours, commercial graded to run 24 seven. So they'll run a long, long time. So they're not consumer where I think consumers like eight hours. Uh, these are commercial graded to run 24 seven. Right. Okay. Can you throw a chair at the glass? Uh, you can, but it's probably not um, <laughs> suggested. Uh, we actually had a kid throw a stapler at our panel. Um, they're pretty <laughs> robust, you know, so, you know, you can. That was probably the hardest I ever hit that. Oh, that was. <laughs> but, um, Ray. Got one Jay. Ray. Just yeah, Jay got nervous. We were at the Q conference in uh, Palm Springs last week, and my colleague and I were just pounding the. <laughs> like, oops, hopefully, it, hopefully that works. Holds up. Yeah. But, um, Anyway, it has a warranty, right? It has a five-year warranty on it, so we can get it replaced. A stapler warranty. Yeah, yeah. Some kid threw a stapler and it actually survived. So we're like, holy smokes! Um, can you play a video so we can hear the audio? Because it's audio, twenty yeah. watt yep. speakers, right? Um, these ones are 15. 15. Two 15 watt speakers. Yeah. So the the warranty does not. Uh, if, if there's damage done mm -hmm. to it by somebody throwing something in it, that's not covered. So here's where I kind of tote the the line. We, um, I've been here three years and I have yet to see a, a issue that we wouldn't cover. If it's some, I mean, even if it's like, you know, hey, we had this issue. We even had um, five panels in California for the California district that got vandalized and uh, I just ended up replacing them. I mean, it just really depends on the situation. Now, if you said, hey, Ray, yeah, we just totally trashed this panel, blah, blah, blah then yeah, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> you know, but. Yeah, it just depends. But as far as any accidents or anything, you know, a screen being cracked, if it does get cracked, um, it's really tough for us not to cover it. So the, the covering on that, is, it, it doesn't seem like it's glass. It sounded like plastic, right? Uh, yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's a glass, but it's a, it's that rated ROHS something where you can scratch quartz on it. That's how I think it is. It's like, it's not Gorilla Graph. Gorilla glass, but I forgot I can find out what exactly it is. It's pretty strong though. And antimicrobial too, right? Yes, yeah. thank you. Um, so we are actually one of only two companies that offer this. We actually spray our panels with an anti, the reason why I don't bring it up is I can't really pronounce it, antimicrobial, <laughs> <Cro -reel, laughs> which kills like 99.9%. .9%. And it's actually, uh, TUV Rhineland actually um, licensed or certified it or licensed it, whatever they do, um, to back that statement up. So we are actually one of only two panels uh, in the market that has that. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you guys want to see a Tom and Jerry or Encanto? Encanto. Encanto. I heard this again. It's been in my house for a week now. I've been playing Encanto. <laughs> Fine. 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 I'm totally not nervous. Your eyes doing the thing. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as the crust of the earth is. 
She like watches 30 times there you go. a day or something like that, my brother. That's exactly right. <laughs> um, okay, so that that sound. Um, I think I covered pretty much most on the RS Plus, yeah. Because I want to take these last like 10 minutes here to go over the queue or something. Do they have any integrations with any of the LMS stuff, or is it all just kind of access through the browser? Or an app. I assume that you could use an Android app to like because we use Canvas as our. LMS oh, okay. Here. Yeah. So I assume you could be get that Android app put on yep. there, and then that would function in some fashion. You can, and you can load it via APK, right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah Absolutely, nice. you right. can side load it. Sweet. On that one. Yep. Um, oh, another thing. Uh, one more gadget that That's I forgot to. Show. So we, we also have what's called New Line Broadcast. Well, yes, I have a question. Yeah. So we can install Android applications on this. And we can. Through the management console? No. Um, it would have to be through a time. thumb drive. A, a thumb drive. So thumb drive on each one. Correct. Okay. Now, again, these are now. If you want us to even say, "Hey, we use these apps," right. can you let us know how it works? We can. We can work. Our tech support team will work you guys. Work with you guys through that and try to get it in the store. And yes, maybe put it in the store or or find a better way to load it than an APK file. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah. Good question. Um, I forgot to mention this one. So New Line Cast takes the device and puts it on the panel, right? New Line Broadcast works the exact opposite. It takes what's on the panel and puts it on the device. So you can actually have up to 250 devices connected to the panel at once. It also works like classroom tools. It's behind the glass or in front of the glass. So whatever is behind the glass is being broadcast to all the devices, okay? Now, this was designed prior to the pandemic, so it wasn't meant to replace video conferencing, but where we found that it works out well is in classrooms, especially bigger classrooms that they've started doing like, you know, a little bit bigger spaces or whatnot. If you have, you know, Johnny in the corner, he really can't see the panel. Well, he can bro you can broadcast your panel to his uh, screen, okay? And he can see what, everything that's going on here. Also, I've seen teachers utilize it for kids who've been sick Okay, because again, this is cloud-based, so it doesn't have to be on the same network. Okay, so kids who are sick, they can still follow along on their Chromebook at home. And it's all through browser, so the yeah, SE enabled plugin. Correct. Thing. So it's, it's all no, it's all no through app a, that needs to be put on a Chromebook or nope. anything like that. Nope, so it's all through a browser. You would just go to this uh, URL, type in that code, and you're uh, you have the screen. Okay, cool. Cool. Anything else, guys, before I kind of introduce you guys to the Q-Series? No? All right. We're still waiting on that pizza, too. Meat lovers? Pizza? All right. Let's see. Did you get your question back in about profiles? Yes. Profiles? Okay. Yeah. What's going to happen with the Q-Series? Are they clean? They clean. I assume, I assume you clean this just like, I don't know, other ones. ones. Yeah, you can use anything. You can use anything you want except for pneumonia. Pneumonia. Here it comes with a kit. Show your kit. Oh yeah. Like most, like most screens, you don't want to use. That's come with a cleaning kit. Every panel comes with one, so maybe there's a way that you want to manage those or issue them or assign them. Elementaries are going to need to wipe them down more often. Wireless management. We don't want to manage your kits. There's actually a towel in here that's that works really well. Actually, I have it even in my bag. I don't want to open that one. But it's gonna be in there. But it's just a, a micro towel. This thing right here, yeah. this thing will clean the heck out of it right. without even anything on it. So yeah, so a lot of those kind of cool. fiber cloths do a great job without anything. You don't necessarily need any of it. Exactly. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> all right so lucky you guys you guys actually get to see a new product before it's actually even out okay um this is our q panel so again like i said uh when are you guys looking to launch kind of like a rollout the summer the summer okay 
So this would probably fall in perfect if this is an option. Now we will have both, okay? So the RS Plus that you've seen will be available as well as this panel, okay? Or as well as the panel here that we go over. Okay. Is there a huge price difference between this new versus your old? Not really. Okay. Not really. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is a price difference. Well, but she said is. she said huge, so you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> it's not five thousand more. <laughs> this uh, this panel will come in four sizes, uh, kind of the same as the RS Plus, right? Mm -hmm. Sixty five, seventy five, eighty six, ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Couple of things that are. A uh, big difference for our Q panel than our RS Plus is you will have um, user interface, right? So the user interface has different themes um, on it, so it actually is more colorful. There's even like a Super Mario Brothers theme that's pretty cool on it. Um, but this panel, hardware-wise, okay, it's going to go from Android 8, uh, Android 8 that we're on here on the RS Plus to now Android 11. Okay, it's actually the first panel out in the market that's Android 11. Okay, now that doesn't mean everybody will end up going that route, obviously, but we are the first in the market to have Android 11. It also will have um, a built-in Wi-Fi. So right now we use a Wi-Fi dongle, okay? But um, a big feedback that we took in creating this new panel, these were getting stolen uh, a lot. It was funny because I don't know if you guys heard about that TikTok challenge where the oh, kids yeah. were stealing. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, for some reason, these Wi-Fi dongles were the perfect thing to steal in the classroom. So I actually had to give a district 200 of these Wi-Fi dongles because they all got stolen. So, so the challenge was to steal something from steal something from the classroom and you post it on your TikTok. Yeah, yeah. and then you get caught immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty yeah. much how that works. Yeah, yeah. pretty dumb, right? Well, they're like posted on like a school page too. It's like there's like this school TikTok group, and it's like, oh yeah, look at all these gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know you. I know you. I know you. Yeah. Self snitching. It's great. Yeah. Self snitching. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. No, no thought gets put in. There. No. So. Um, and it is going to be a uh, Wi-Fi 6 module, okay, so if you guys know what this. This is the other hardware upgrade that um, we did. It will have Type-C, okay. The front port will be actually a power Type-C, 65 watts. There will also be a Type-C connection in the back, but that does not have power. So is this the front? This will be the front, yeah. So it'll be right here. That's how that looks. And it's actually a pen tray now. So. Um, there's like a little groove that is a pen tray and we were at the conference last week and teachers love that pen tray, sure. you know. Um, but if you see here, they had the uh, type C port there. Okay, um, plug and play USB-C, okay. Um, more modern design. Both, both signal and display? Everything, just one type C. And one type C connection uh, has everything, touch, audio, video, um, as well as power for the front one. And what's my limitation for length? Uh, we say 10 feet. We include a 10 feet type C cable. Um, I think the norm is six. I think they say six is usually the, as far as you should go, but we, we have a 10 foot uh, type C cable that will come with this panel. Um, here is the answer to your question here, right? The user profiles, okay? So you can have uh, five different user profiles on this one. And then they just like locally stored passwords and usernames that exactly. are made up on that. Is yeah. that going to be manageable through the management side of things where we can clear off profiles if need be from? That is a great question. Yeah. Actually, let me uh, <laughs> let me notate that one. I'll get in there. That's a great question. I'll, uh, okay, so can, can NDM manage profiles on Q? Sorry, this is how I remember things. I don't know how that goes. I sent myself emails all the time. <laughs> okay, cool. I will get you an answer for that one. Okay. Great question. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about here? Okay, so Android 11, uh, big piece. Um, okay, so whiteboard, micro app store. Okay, so every, everything else um, is the same. And again, this is uh, part of our new line display management piece. Um, on that. Okay, so that's the Q. Okay, so Q is really hardware, more hardware um, 
specific upgrades. So again, Android 8, to Android 11, Type-C connection, Wi-Fi 6 module, uh, user profiles, those are the big things. Um, so there's one more big thing you missed. What's that? The camera. What was up with the camera? Yeah, so in, our, in the queue, there will be a um, port up here that will allow you to connect our new line camera. So there's a, there's a camera that goes along with it. This, it this does, it does not, not go along with it. It's an added enhance. It's an added feature. Okay. Like you can uh, you can buy it, but yes, you can just plug it in. It's and a plug-in. It works with the Android operating system. Correct. And so it can do stuff. Right. So it can do like Google Meets and stuff like that. It can do, what can it do? Um, it can do, no, I think it's only, I don't know if there's a mic on that camera. That would be the only thing is I, I don't know if there's a mic. I'd have to confirm that one. So I can check back on that one. Is that the same camera that goes on the Flex? Yes. Yeah, does the I Flex have the mic? mic in there. I don't think it does, right? Well, you can buy the new line mic. Yeah. You, I'm joking. We, we have a whole mic, you know, mic and camera and speaker set up. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. That goes along with the. No, so. We all, not only do we do K through 12, we also do corporate. So in our corporate space, we have what's called a Z panel. Okay, our Z panel though is uh, it, it's more uh, unified collaborative panel, um, which means it will have your built-in uh, uh, not built-in, but it'll have a 4K PTZ cam. It'll have uh, mics and it'll have speakers um, that actually will come with it, kind of a UC piece are those to it. Logitech or models? no. No. Yeah, those are actually new line. Or um, you can either buy them a la carte style and connect it, or they can come with your panel. So it really just all depends. Uh, but it's a more of a UC thing. So yes, we do have those kind of things. That's a good question. I will find out if we did put a camera on the queue, uh, can you do Google Meets? I just want to know what it's used for, because if you can, yeah. it doesn't have a mic and it's just a camera. like well, I, I think you could connect the mic to the panel and it would kind of work that way. That would be my guess. Um, but I'll double check for you on that one. That's good. Well, I'll have all their contact or will you be able to send that? Like Generally memory. Okay, so memory, like, what I'll do is I'll get these questions like, answered and I will shoot you around. Oh, serious? Yeah, like yeah. All, all AR kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, let me, I'll double check on all that stuff. on the Same audio capabilities or beefed up? Uh, yes, yeah, so these are 15 watt, the Q is 20 watts per speaker. How difficult is the broadcast? Like to set that up for a classroom or for... It's not difficult at all. Well, you say that, like what, 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 what is it? Uh, it's kind of like new line cast. So all you do is type in the URL and then the pin code. So the students would type in the URL and the pin code and they would connect to the broadcast and it would automatically it show It would automatically show what's going on. Yeah. I think I saw a link on there. Can they just put that on their Canvas page for the students to click on? They can. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. There's a, it was a, like a small five, five classroom um, district in California, but that's uh, kind of what they did. They, I don't think they use Canvas, but they basically had the link, you know, and then they would just uh, click on it. And then the kids, it would be a, a different uh, pin all the time. So all they would have to do is enter the pin. Right. Even yeah, because if you notice, it's it's running, right? The broadcast is right. running back here, so whatever, again, is going on the panel is being broadcast as a device. So with you can actually try it out. You guys want to try it out? Let's yeah. see if they'll do it on the phone. Will it actually will broadcast it onto my phone? Um, it might. I don't know how it'll look. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. Here, let's, uh, let's, no, do let's do it. I'll restart. I'll restart a broadcast for you guys. Yeah, right. that pizza smells good. Audio and yeah. HDMI out on the new model. <laughs> Audio, what do you point five out? And, and HDMI out? HDMI, yes. Um, 3.5, I don't know. Optical, yes. Optical. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I think so, because the only thing that's got taken away from the queue is the VGA. No more VGA. Down with VGA. Yeah, Down with VGA. Like so you guys say you have too. your own factory, so there's no we delay do. shipping times? No. Oh. We can Throughout get the whole pandemic. Are you was... ordering parts from anywhere that's going to get stuck in a canal? No, <laughs> I know, right? No, that that's above my pay grade. But as far as I know, we always get product. So it was crazy. I don't know how our CEO does it. So, so the question, did you do it? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to do something up there. I want to see how. Oh, okay. I want to see that the lag times like. Let's do. Well, it's not bad. 
it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. It's maybe about three seconds, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that works as long as what, yeah. Amazon is up or what, uh, which, <laughs> which web service That's a good that? I think it's AWS. Yeah, actually. Actually, it's AWS. AWS. They own the whole internet. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. So the application that you would load on onto the user's uh, computer that was PC and not oh, PC, Microsoft and Apple. I would take it. I'm sorry. What do you the mean? The application that we would use to be able to broadcast. Display to note. Yeah, display note. Yeah, it would be an app uh, through Apple. It would be app, Apple and and Microsoft, right? Uh, yes, there is a Windows download to it if okay. you wanted. To. So how does that application connect to the panel? Uh, to through, be able to display through a cloud through the pin. So it goes through. So that's the only way. It's it a cloud. It's all cloud based. Yeah. So if you're uh, just just uh, showing something in the classroom, you have that application, mm -hmm. and you want to share your screen, it goes through the cloud. Yes. Okay. So and the only other way that we can, how do we manage what screen or display that application can get, just through the pin? Oh, you're talking about. Like if I had a panel here and a panel in the other room. Yeah, look, because we're gonna have like thirty or forty in the class. It's the pin. School. It's the pin. And a the class pin will be yeah. Unique to the the pin will be unique to that panel. So if you know Sue ran by and saw the pin, yeah. but she went to her class, she can still connect to this right. panel. Yeah. So because the way that I'm envisioning this is like every teacher would have the, that application on their laptop, right? And then when they wanted it to sh share something to their screen, they just click share and it's up there. Correct. They would put in the pin code. Then put the pin code in first. Correct. Because every every time you launch New Line Cast or broadcast, a different pin is generated. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it's uh, connected through that way. So. Um, but again, you don't you don't have to use the cloud if you don't want. You can kind of do the point to point connection if the device and the panel are on the same network. But then the device, if they're on the same network. Mm. If the, only if they're on the same network can you. Turn off the cloud connection. Yeah. If we're using uh, Apple, Apple AirPlay, AirPlay, right? Yeah. So it does have an AirPlay receiver. So the same network or the same broadcast domain? Because on the, they have to have the same IP addresses, right? Like correct. It, can't, it doesn't route. They have to be in the same S correct the same so, space. Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, so which means if you have like Wi-Fi student, yes, and then Wi-Fi, you know, classroom, the classroom, they won't talk to each other. They both have to be on Wi-Fi class. Because the way that these devices are going to be, you know, uh, segmented or uh, what's it called? What's the word? I mean? Distributed, like in each classroom. So what's the what's the security term for separating? Oh, like quarantine and all. Seg not segmented. It's uh, segregated. Seg segregated. Segregated. Either way, the, the, these are these are considered IoT, right? Because mm -hmm. there's something that we're not really controlling the operating system on. Correct. We're just getting. Uh, uh, updates for you. Correct. So they're going to be set up over here that you can route into and we're going to have rules of what, what they can get to. What they can get next. to and everything. Okay. Yeah, in case yeah. something happens. Right? Yeah. So that won't, that won't work. Airplay won't work very well for us. Okay. So then you would want to turn that off. Yes. And okay. we'll have to use the cloud for everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll you can easily turn that off. Now you can even lock and set these settings, I believe, in the, in in the, the new device. line display management. Yeah. Correct. So whatever security features you need, you can actually customize each panel through New Line Display Management. So you don't have to touch every single panel uh, for your security measures. Just um, push it out. You would just push it out, including the app. So if you don't want them downloading any apps either, you can kind of take that away too. So it really depends what you guys will let the teachers do and not do. Okay. And we can kind of work with you through that. Well, we want to allow them to do everything. The only issue is, is if, if the, the device is cloned, right? Like from a security standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want it to, to infect everything. Infect everything. I so got gotcha. you. That, yeah. That's what we're trying to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. I know. That's we have we have districts that will take the Android off and just put in a OPS computer and just make it a big computer and and it's living on their network like a laptop. Right. So. Really? really? You can take the Android off? You can you can kill the Android, yes. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Again, factory, right? right. We can do whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so we actually have some folks that are very security. And again, remember, we also do companies, right? Corporates. Cor right. Corporates hate the Android. They don't want Android living on their and network. And that's kind of why I'm, I'm sitting. Yeah. So, um, but 
you know, again, all the bells and whistles for the teachers and fun stuff is through our Android, you know, kind of platform. But yeah, you always have the option. Because we do have panels that are actually Linux based and will only work with a computer. So basically this is kind of like a dummy panel. Right. So. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> um, <It's> Linux. <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, any Linux. questions, guys? <laughs> That was awesome. That was a good hour too. Thank you guys. Any questions that one, I can answer while I'm here, but that you haven't seen or want to see from others, presentations or good, bad, and different? I mean, about the only other thing that I'd want to see a little more of would be the, the management side of it. Okay. What, that looks like. what I'm going to do is I'm going to send memory our YouTube video on the introduction on, on the uh, new line because they'll do a way better job than I can ever That's do. Awesome. Yeah, that'll okay. be great. So I'll send you that link can actually annotate over it and it'll save it. But I also wanted to show you real quick, if they do use a document camera and it's USB, we actually have a visualizer app. Okay, so if you connect it via USB, you can actually even broadcast your document camera through this app. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. So that's recognizing just the USB. Right. On some document cameras, not all USBs. You know, um, I've seen it work on the Aver. I seen it work on um, the Elmo. IPVO. I know the Elmo works. I, yeah, I haven't tested the Elmo. So, uh, just to kind of, I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, you're good. Like all those will work, and we'll have to figure out which ones do. No big deal. The one question that I have that we've been talking about recently is that like so we're buying two hundred and fifty dollar uh, uh, dot cams. Dot cams. Oh, nice. Which ones? The two hundred fifty dollar ones. <laughs> oh, you're like I don't know. They cost me two hundred fifty exactly, bucks. Right? Yeah, so yeah. what they're we can do is, is that they're we, we yeah. can buy an iPad for a little bit more and it has a, a lot more functionality. Have you seen schools do that? I have, and they use the screen, the screen sharing app to use it the as a The screen sharing app from? The New Line Cast. Now, for them, you made, you said AirPlay doesn't work for you in your district, totally get it, but. No, but what we can do though, if we, if we say we do do that, we can put both of those devices, since they're kind of similar, on the same network and they can both work. Yes. So if we, we just have to think think it through. Yeah, so yeah. No, if you to do if you replaced a document camera and let them use an iPad and gave them like this kind of stand where they could just tilt it and use the camera piece, absolutely, you can just AirPlay it up to New Line Cast and it'll work just the same. Yeah. Which is what the same. Yeah. Except your wireless, yeah. right? And all the annotation, all the tools, all, all the tools is still the same. Really yeah, because this yeah. lives yeah. also yeah. in front of the glass, right? right? That that glass light annotation. So those three things, right? Classroom tools, uh, broadcast, as well as the glass light annotation all live in front of the glass. So whatever's going on behind the glass, you can annotate over. And I do spell, uh, this This would work, but there are specific stands that are made. Copernicus, for instance, makes a stand with a light on it, clamps in your iPad, and it turns your iPad.